Hey everyone, welcome to my July favorites video for 2013. In this favorites video, I'm going to show you some of my favorite fashion pieces, a couple beauty products, my favorite songs, my favorite apps slash games for my iPhone, and a couple food items. We're going to start with these two food items first, which is really weird for a beauty channel video. Oh my gosh, I just dropped the ice cream. I have to run these back to the kitchen because they're cold. Anyway, my first favorite is this silk almond milk and it's the dark chocolate variety. So it looks like this. I got it from Walmart. You can get it from practically anywhere, any grocery store. It just so happened that they were out of the vanilla almond milk, which is what I would normally get and I've been drinking that for maybe a year now. I just am not a fan of regular cow's milk, white milk especially. Like I will not drink milk white. Um, before I talk about milk too much, I just want to let you know this is really good and it has a lot of calcium, so it's good for you. And the second food item, I know you guys probably guessed it's ice cream because I said I dropped ice cream, but this is actually from Target. It's the Market Pantry brand of ice cream. I was really surprised that a generic brand of ice cream tastes so good, but this is delicious and they have so many different flavors, but strawberry cheesecake is pretty much my favorite ice cream ever. It's cheesecake ice cream with graham cracker pieces and strawberries and strawberry swirl like syrup. It's so delicious, I love it so much. So it was just a very, very pleasant surprise for me to find this at Target. Okay, so I gotta run these back to the kitchen. Yes, I am sitting by a puzzle. My boyfriend and I are working on a 2,000 piece puzzle of hot air balloons and there's a hot air balloon picture behind me on the wall. And that's not ours. We live in a furnished apartment right now, so that was here. This is probably the longest intro I have ever done that does not contain a single beauty item yet. Here are my two beauty products, and the reason I don't have any makeup or anything is because I don't experiment with makeup a lot. I don't have a ton of extra money, and when I do spend money on myself, I usually buy clothes or craft supplies. So I'm really into fashion and shoes more than I am into makeup, and I just can't see me spending like a ton of money experimenting with new foundations and stuff unless I'm like really sure it's going to work or really unhappy with what I already have. So I'm just tilting my chair forward. I hope I don't fall. I just got this nail polish from Charm and Charlie, and I'm really in love with this color. I usually wear magenta on my nails, but this is more of a pearly fuchsia, and you can see my nails are really chipped, but it's on there on the uh, two pink ones, pinky ones. So this is called Rare Royalty, and it was either four or five dollars from Charm and Charlie. It has two different prices on it. Well, it did. I think I peeled the five dollar one off. So. These are nail polish removing wipes and it is a 30 pack so there's 30 little wipes in here. The lid screws off and then you can see I have one wipe left. So my question for you guys is have you ever seen this before? Because someone sent this to me as a gift and I have no clue where they got it and I just have not seen nail polish removing pads anywhere in this container. I don't know, I've seen like a 10 pack at Walmart, but the really awesome thing about these is that they are acetone and alcohol free, so and they don't smell bad, and they do a great job. One little circular pad, seriously, will get all this nail polish off, unless you use really, really stubborn glitter nail polish. In that case, you, you all know that it's just hard to get off with anything. So yeah, these though, I love them so much and yeah, I just need more. Hair accessories, I have been loving headbands lately. This one is just a wide creamish white colored one as you can see and I usually when I put it in my hair will fold it in half so it's this width instead. And I usually wear this when my hair is kind of wavy. My hair is naturally wavy. So I think it looks really good when I kind of poof my hair up at the top and then leave it wavy so it has a lot of volume and then have this headband. Then I got these two packs of headbands from Charm and Charlie for $8 a pack. And there's 10 of them here and they're different colors and I dropped the black one. If you watch my Delia's haul, then you'll see these up close and personal and I have some outfits on with them. With that white headband that I showed, I love to wear these shorts and either a gray or black tank top with them. These are just really cute shorts and I tuck my shirt into them. So I got these shorts from Charlotte Russe probably for about $20. They're fairly inexpensive. These are really lightweight and they have an elastic band and a little tie on the front. When I wear those shorts, I like to wear these canvas shoes. They're also from Charlotte Russe. Um, they're probably 
$12? I forget. I probably mentioned it in my summer mall haul, not sure. Oh my gosh, they're so bright on the screen. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I probably was blinding you guys. I also got a five pair of these really low cut socks that I showed in a haul video not too long ago. They have this rubber backing on all of them and these have been working wonderfully. So they're no show socks so you can wear them with these shoes and you won't see them. They're awesome. I got them from Vans and the pack was like $16 but they work great if your shoes are tight enough because then they have no way to kind of um, catch on the back of your shoe and fall down. So they work great with these shoes for me. Some of my all-time favorite stores for this summer have been PacSun, Charlotte Russe, and I also really like Victoria's Secret all the time, and uh, um, Wet Seal was pretty good to me. Delia's too, Delia's was great this season. Also something on my favorite list, bows, but they're always on my favorite list. I got these bow denim shorts from Adelia's, and you probably saw them in the haul if you guys watch my channel regularly, but they have a cuff at the bottom and I really like them. In general, this summer I have been loving bandos and crop tops. I get a lot of smack talk for wearing bandos and crop tops and showing off my stomach and dressing in style and dressing like in the fashion and keeping up with different trends that I like and approve of. There are so many beauty gurus here on YouTube that wear crop tops and they get a lot of negative negativity and bashing as well. So it's not just me, so don't worry about it. Like I'm gonna wear what I want to and what makes me feel comfortable. If you don't approve of crop tops, then don't wear them. If you don't approve of short shorts, don't wear them. If you don't approve of low cut shirts, then don't wear them. But don't think that everyone who wears them needs to be judged and that they are a certain way or they have a terrible personality or have terrible motives and just want to like slut it up or anything like that. So I'll just show you some of my favorite crop tops. This one's from Delia's and I just showed it in a haul video, but this is a favorites video, so I have to show it. This bandeau, which is a little longer than normal bandeaus, so you can wear it with a high-waisted skirt if you would like to, which I am doing here. I got this from Victoria's Secret, the pink section, and it was two for 30, so I got it for $15. This short sleeve crop top is from PacSun. This really adorable crop top with the cutout collar is from Charlotte Russe. Y'all know I love bows, so here's a bow bandeau crop top from PacSun. And this crop top with a lace angled bottom is from Paxson as well. Another pair of shoes that I have been absolutely loving and I just banged my elbow on the table. Way to go. I love combat boots. So I found this pair at Forever 21 and they're just awesome. And I wear them, oh no, I banged my elbow on the chair. I wear these to the airport, but they do take kind of a long time to get on and off. So if you have a really quick connection flight, don't wear them to the airport. But I just was going from one place to the other. So we were in no hurry. Now for this handbag. Normally I use rather large purses, not like giant tote bag purses, but you know, just the normal purse where I stuff way too much in it and then I carry it around for a couple hours and I end up with a sore shoulder and I just hate myself for it. So when I can, I use this smaller clutch purse and actually my aunt sells these, um, like she sells like Scentsy and catalog orders so I'm sure that you can find someone in your area who sells like catalog stuff or just go on their website. Um, this is made by Grace Adele. I love this. It has a magnetic button closure. Um, it's great for if you're going out to a restaurant or the mall or anywhere dressy. Here's the inside. I have some random change floating around. And I like that there's a strap because I don't want to just be like holding a wallet all night. Like I want to be able to put it, put it here. So that's the end of all the beauty and fashion stuff. And I'm going to show you some stuff on my phone that I like. A couple of my new favorite apps are Beautiful Mess, which is a photo editing app and it allows you to put wording and different icons like hearts and stuff on your pictures. So I really like that. It's great for Instagram users. And then I also have been addicted to Candy Crush for a while. I am on level 110 actually, so I'm doing pretty well. My favorite TV shows lately, and I have them written on my phone so I don't have to think about it, Pretty Little Liars. Whose line is it anyway? I'm so excited that that came back and they got the same guys 
to do it. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't like it since Drew Carey's not hosting, but I actually really like the chemistry between the host and the, uh, the actors, <laughs> whatever. No surprise, I'm still addicted to Friends and The Big Bang Theory. I'm also watching the new season of Here Comes Sunny Boo Boo, and I don't care how hard you guys judge me for that. I think they're a fun family. They're a little crazy, but like that just makes them fun. I don't know, they're really nice people, honestly. Like, And my boyfriend and I also watch Judge Judy <laughs> together a lot lately. Finally, I think for my favorites, I will tell you my favorite songs. Um, there's just two of them that I can think of right now. One of them is Take Back the Night by my guy Justin Timberlake. Oh my gosh, it sounds like a Michael Jackson song. And you guys may know how obsessed I am with older music as in 70s, 80s, kind of um, disco-y, kind of, I like uh, the classic rock, like I like Aerosmith, Def Leppard, um, I love Michael Jackson, obviously, so um, yeah, Prince, everything like that, it's just amazing. And the other song I am really obsessed with, or have been obsessed with in July, the other song is Daft Punk, Get Lucky, and it's just such a fun, upbeat party song. I think that's it, but the final thing I want to bring up in this video is what fashion video should I do next? Like what fashion lookbook should I do? I kind of still want to do a summer lookbook, but I think it's going to be getting cold for some of you. But I want to film around downtown Tulsa. There's just some really cool buildings around here, and I want to wear shorts and tank tops and stuff still. So. Let me know. I don't know. Let me know like what theme outfits you would like to see, I guess. And if you think that's a good idea, if you want to see more around my town. I think I'm going to be living here for a few more months because my boyfriend's project is still going on. Um, yeah. Alright, check out all of my links in the down bar and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. You guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye! Okay, so... Whoop. All right, it's so loud outside all the time. Loud sound. Who do I remind you of? Furby. That was the correct answer. Okay, milk back in the fridge. And ice cream back in the fridge there. Bam. Lucky. She's up all night to get lucky. I'm up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to get lucky. Hey, stop it. No beeping. Alright, bye!